Research done by Pardeep Kumar. Hello guys, how are you all? First of all, really sorry guys, I was not able to make any videos regarding the love you. But because I had some health issue and now I'm feeling well, I will upload a new videos very soon, new experiments. And uh, in this video, I will tell about the myself, like uh, in which field I have interest and uh, what uh, I done, which type of things I done, all of these things in this video. Yeah, first of all, I talk about the love you. Uh, okay. Uh, we will talk live you in the later first of all i am tell about the my experience i have two year experience total uh, uh, because after the btech i joined the sony for india in there i do a lot of research and amazing experience first is about the plc hmi scada all of these things and after that i switched my field in the iot iot is i think you already know it is the very advanced and uh, future technology iot the industrial internet of things uh, means if i give you the example like if you are uh, going to the sugar mill in there uh, in there you need to make a one project that is the iot based uh, in there like there have multiple type of machines you need to take the data from the machines and you need to uh, store the data in the web browser and with uh, some analytics and uh, overall efficiency of the machine like uh, what type of error in their machine if their uh, error continue going on then we can easy to find like this machine uh, got problem because of that our production is lost all of these things about the IoT that's why industrial internet of things okay um, and um, i have experience i have one year experience in the iot but currently i left the job because uh, because i need to uh, give the one uh, exam that is the international and uh, but very soon i will uh, try to join again iot field or uh, some software because if you are in iot field that's time you need to know about the programming because iot is based on the hardware plus programming if you have hardware knowledge then well and good you need to learn about the programming the same things i need to do i have hardware knowledge but yes if you have some hardware then we can easy to read the document and we can familiar with the hardware second one is the programming we need to learn about the programming like python java html css bootstrap all of these things with the different type of frameworks that's why i will thinking about the joining the new software company core company in there i will learn all of these things and after the two or three year i will try to switch again in the iot because i have because that time i will have experience in the uh, programming language as well as software then uh, easy to combine both these things and we can able to make a new projects and that is very beneficial okay as now i will tell you about what type of experiment i done in the sonipar india what type of projects and it was amazing research now i will show you first i done aws i work with aws aws is like amazon uh, cloud technology in there i done with the plc like i res, uh, i receive the plc data and i send to the aws in the in the aws have the danodb danodb is one type of uh, one type of database in there we can easy to store the multiple data it is very helpful like whenever you are outside from your company and you want to see how much production done in my company then you can easy to log in with a aws account and you can easy to see what how much production done today how much production is done now i will show you this is the link about the aws amazon web service okay and uh, the next one what i done uh, i learn about the c++ programming and c programming is the basic not in the deep only basic syntax next is very amazing this is the one project data write in plc from email automatic this is the one project like i uh, have a customer requirement and the customer said uh, uh, we have the two department one is about in the panchkula second is the another location then the headquarter in the panchkula they want to send the email through the excel okay and automatically send to the uh, data to the like in the machines and they automatically start and do the progress this is about the that project i will show the one video now you can watch it and uh, let me show in there you can easy to understand now let me play yes uh, this demo is based on email plus plc I, now i will show you yes this one is like i have format and this one is biscuit and chocolate biscuit 500 pieces and chocolate is 999 okay this one is like uh, you have headquarter and headquarter daily update uh, some biscuit means uh, today production is 500 or like this same and headquarter send to uh, send a mail i have to email right now this one is like headquarter mail okay and headquarter sent to our company mail like this one is uh, my company email okay uh, like i am here a demo 
okay and i test the same format excel sheet and i save it in desktop uh yes machine data okay open and now let i'm send okay now this one is my company mail company when i receive the mail automatic data sent to our plc using uh, the some software okay i have already coding uh, this demo now let's wait yes now receive and you see download done okay and wait a few seconds and it automatic send to biscuit and chocolate now wait yeah you can see biscuit 500 and chocolate 999 i think it's done let's i will update uh, another format now uh, yes this machine data yes now i meant here uh, like uh, 9810 uh, this one is biscuit okay biscuit piece and chocolate is uh, 540 this one now save and headquarter send uh, this format again uh, like this one is headquarter mail and headquarter again sent to uh, my company mail automation and anything like uh, data okay and it has the same format same format and same uh, name okay same file name open headquarter sent the mail and this one is my company mail company mail when receive the mail then automatic send data to our uh, biscuit and chocolate plc now wait a few seconds and uh, yes yes you see i uh, received a new mail and downloading done and uh, see the biscuit and chocolate in plc okay now wait a few seconds yes now you see updated biscuit 9810 and chocolate 540 it's a fully automatic project yes guys now i think you understand about this project it's really really very amazing it's fully automatic guys now this one so let me show about the next one next one is the lab view python tutorial i think you already know about this let me minimize next one is the lab top cognitive application this is really amazing i developed the one hardware that is named the cognitive hardware i will show the video uh, yes now i'll uh, show the demo about the plc with the boys okay and uh, first of all you need a one speaker and you connect to the laptop and uh, this interlink with uh, our plc okay uh, it's uh, for demo only like uh, i will update the some alarm if the alarm is less then it's give some uh, message and give the command uh, using the speaker okay as well as i'm uh, configure the fault if fails in fault condition that is update uh, using the speaker okay, let's start up uh, okay this one welcome company name sonpar india okay now you see temperature alarm low zero tag name is temp underscore low underscore level this one temperature low uh, define here temperature alarm low zero tag name is temp underscore low underscore level now i give the 60 now you can good see. now temperature is normal 60 now our temperature is good and normal 60 okay and low if the uh like we can see temperature is less than 50 then give the low alarm if the greater than 100 then high alarm okay now let i enter the value greater than 100 101 and you see temperature alarm high 101 tag name is temp underscore high underscore level okay great now again temperature alarm high 101 tag name is temp underscore high underscore level let me enter 60. good now temperature is normal 60. now you see the plc fault condition and plc is in fault condition code is 34. solution is a timer instruction has a negative preset or accumulated value Okay, it's, PLC is in fault it's condition code is 34 uh, voice command solution is a timer instruction yes. has a negative preset or accumulated value solution is a timer instruction has a negative preset or accumulated value now you see good PLC fault cleared PLC fault cleared and next one is about this one is the mod modbus yes first is the cognitive application about the ethernet protocol modbus uh, sorry ethernet protocol second one is about the modbus TCP I already done all uh, these two projects. Now I will tell about the MongoDB. MongoDB is the one database, normal database. We can easy to store the data. I already done like PLC data sent to the Python and the Python sent to the MongoDB. All these things. Next the uh, MySQL, uh, MySQL PLC. Like again PLC data sent to the MySQL with the help of the Ethernet protocol. All these things. MySQL is again is the database. Data is the different type of like SQL, MySQL, MongoDB, and DynamoDB. All these things the data. Base. we can easy to store the multiple data yes 
again is uh, okay this one is this one is no dance you you already know no dance you i already uh, done the i already created the one playlist in there uh, but in this no dance you i communicate with like advanced projects plc data send the no dance you no dance you send to the like one lcd screen they will show the industrial values like how much temperature and pressure okay, next one i done that is the plc data sent to things be cloud okay i think you already know i interlink with the lavi with the things speak that's why and in this i receive the plc data then i send to the our python programming to the pro python programming then i send to the things speak cloud things speak is the one cloud we, there we can easy to store the data as well as we can see the like uh, see the graphs and the analytics how it's work what type of data okay. now i will tell about the plc python redundancy this is the one project uh, this is the one project like if you have a two hardware okay if the one hardware is not working like if your uh, hardware is damaged or have some problem then uh, this one is down then the second hardware is automatically switch on and they communicate with the other device okay this is about the redundancy if sometimes second is not working then switch to the first one this is all about and uh, and in this between i using the python programming uh, the uh, hardware uh, first hardware to the second hardware next about the plc python test this one is like i communicate um, uh, plc to the python programming and uh, like read and write data with the help of the programming with the help of the python next with the plc update with the voice done like this one is again i said i communicate with the raspberry pi and uh, and i communicate with the plc with the ethernet protocol and uh, if i give the command with the like uh, like turn on the my machine turn on led on led on over oh, oh. and this data send to the plc and then they automatic work like if i send um, uh, my plc timer is increased like 1000 they automatically increase the timer in the plc all these things I already done okay I done like PLC advanced tutorials via Python interleaf with SQL how we can do this one I already done next the Python voice command control PLC bit okay this one is Python voice command control a uh, PLC bit again this one is uh, like uh, with the help of the laptop in there I install the Python and uh, write the code about uh, how we can control with the help of the voice then I send the then I send then I record then I send to the laptop with the voice command like uh, turn on the PLC start my motor one start motor two stop uh, start motor one or two all these things with the help of Python next one I already done about the Python advanced uh, GUI Python GUI tutorials Python open CV I already done SQL and this one is about the Raspberry Pi research about if you have Raspberry how you can do what type of tutorials how you can install how you can communicate with the third party with the help of the PLC okay about I already done with the Siemens PLC also with the Python and next is about the web development advance I currently am uh, learning web development if I learn the web development then I can able to communicate with uh, the hardwares very well and I can able to make a IoT projects that's why currently I will uh, looking for uh, any uh, job about the web development as a fresher and after I learn all of these things then I start to make uh, new projects and communicate with the IoT that is all about this one okay what type of knowledge i have already explained you but yes guys now i will tell you why i did not join any labio company and why i uploaded the videos on the uh, youtube channel the first reason that after completing my study i joined the sony Par india and in there i work with plc SCADA and hmi and after the one year experience i switch my field in the iot iot the industry internet of things and i have and i am very interested to work with the iot field and uh, that's why but currently um, i'm thinking i need to learn about the web development front and back end because if uh, because if i will join the iot field and in there the both field is very important first you need to know about the hardware second one is about the programming language front end and back end if you have a great knowledge about the both field then you can able to make a great project in the iot that's why uh, currently i'm thinking and i am searching for the web development as a fresher if I will uh, have a two or three year experience, then I again switch in the IoT field. This is the my uh, further goal. But yes, in the LabVIEW, this is the first reason I uh, did not join any LabVIEW company because I have interest in the uh, IoT. 
second reason is that I have a health issue and I was not able to travel long distance and uh, that is the reason because if I join the LabVIEW company then I need to uh, visit on the different different companies different location and in there I need to implement, implement the project yes you definitely learn a lot of things in there because you are going in the industry how machines work what type of things you do how you need to thinking and your thinking ability also change and advance uh, yes you can learn a lot of things but I have health issue that's why I was not able to uh, join a lab view company but yes I have interest in the lab view to uh, make a different type of logics with the test different type of uh, experiment and uh, that's why uh, first I learn from the web browser and after that I will upload the videos for you guys and you learn uh, very well and make a lot of uh, projects with the help of uh, these type of videos that's the my uh, one perspective this is the one reason why I did not join the lab view company or why I upload the videos on the lab view and this is all about me and uh, thank you so much guys if you have any doubt or any query then you can easy to ask thank you guys